What's the point if I can't save my own wife? The hell is that? Hello there, my name is and welcome back to A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. We just escaped the hospital after some bullshit with the, the monster. And I think I figured out how they make them, how they artificially increase the difficulty by telling the monster where you're at at times so that it has to be around you so it catches you more and raises the stress level. Uh, Alien Isolation did this, but it was better implemented there. Because uh, here it's more like, hey, you're in this small area. Monster, you're on this side that's the left side of the building. She's actually just crossed over to the right side. You should go over there right now. Oh, by the way, she's actually right over in this corner. Go check that corner right now. Instead of like alien isolation, it's like, hey, the player's somewhere over in this area. Why don't you go look for it? The tale of the Grace Squirrel's Tale. Ah, oh, the most important tool is balance, communication, safety. Yeah, that's great for you. Ah, oh, that's lovely. So in case you weren't here last episode, this little machine we made, the blue is the environmental noise, the green is the noise we're making when we move around. And essentially everything we walk on has a different level of noise and how fast we walk through it. From water to grass to concrete to rubble, wood, it all makes different levels of noise. So you gotta be careful of how fast you move you make more noise, but you go faster. You move slower, makes less noise, but there's a chance you may be around the creature too much. And because we're a little bitch and our asthma acts up, we have a asthma attack and we fall over, which alerts the monster to us. B. Yep, bees are great to have in your ecology. Uh. Oh, and this also this fucking cans everywhere because people can't clean up after themselves like those if we touch those they'll make a lot of noise and it'll alert the uh, the monster that we're over here uh, not that it matters because the game will tell the monster we're here and our flashlight uses batteries really really quickly uh, because at the end of the last episode we swapped we put brand new batteries in and we're already 10% down. Yeah, I just saw that when I hit it. I didn't see it there. Yeah, those are inhalers. Inhaler gets rid of our asthma temporarily and makes it so we can calm down and be around the monster. Or if we find pills, pills we use immediately because we're a junkie. And it heals our asthma slightly. Uh, and the little red bar that you see on top of our little machine. Uh, there's three squares. One means there's a monster in our vicinity. Two means it hurt us and is looking for us. Three means it's hunting us, from what I can tell. Oh, and we're looking for these little starships. Uh, basically, they're, it's a reference to the movie. And, yeah. They give us little credits that we can spend, not in-game, but in the extras menu. For models, scenes, artwork junk like that. Owls. Uh, 
Oh, we're in stress mode now. Whenever we do anything around the creature that involves like physical, our asthma acts up horribly. Or if we're in a stressful situation. They have guns, cool. Oh, he has a rifle. Hell yeah, dude, go for it. Yeah. So if we have an asthma attack, uh, we go <laughs> and we fall over and we become extremely vulnerable because we make lots of noise during it because we're a little bitch. Which is why we have to use inhalers, but inhalers are also loud. They fill the bar up like three pips, roughly. And we can't pick up those cans. just have to walk around them or kick them. Oh, also, uh, we found this out on the first episode. We're also pregnant. So, yeah. We have everything. Oh, and we're an audio engineer uh, who made this device. And we also love music, apparently. So, yay. And we're on a currently we're on a current kill streak of one, two, potentially three people who've killed themselves to protect us. So well done. I'm saying three because I'm pretty sure our dad uh, is dead. Because I'm pretty sure he died in the hospital protecting us in some way. creature doesn't look that bad, honestly. It's just a shame that it's a fucking cheater. And I'm not salty that it killed me. I, I'm fine with that. Kill me all you want. Just do it fair. Is there anything over here? Solar panel... No, okay. Let's see what's inside this building. Now, water is also loud, which is why we try not to go into it. But if it is slow enough, it doesn't really matter. Those are flowers, okay. And avoid the can. Locked. Of course it's fucking locked. Oh fuck, of course dust. Why not? Why not? We'll add something else. We wear a mask? Yes. Will we? No, because we're a little fucking bitch. Who has to cough and go <laughs> at everything? And now you see that our lungs are yellow. Once they get a dark red, uh, we'll have an asthma attack. Uh, overcome gaps. We need to find something to place on it. Got it. Now. Does that aggravate our asthma? Get up. And you are. Uh, Jay, Jay, you were busy when I got in. I just wanted to say thanks for your concern of the day. I'm still waiting to get the new inhaler. At least I got some pills for now. The pills aren't as effective as inhaler, but they're better than nothing. These pills are instant use. And it takes like two or three to uh, calm our breathing down. And then we unlock. Quietly. There we go. 
better not push me into that fucking crate. Oh, hang on. Let me see if we're being too loud or not. The faster you go, then the louder it is. Uh, I'm assuming we can get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Physical exertion. Uh, key. Don't know what it goes to, but we got a key. Uh, guys, I took the, the large plank out of the pile for a reason. Until we get this built, we need to use that plank to cross the gap. Don't like it? If you got a better plan, I'm all ears. Until then, use the damn plank. Jay. Uh, those are batteries. Okay. Uh, what's back here? No, locked? Okay. What's our flashlight at? Actually, we could... While we're here... It says charge. What they mean is reload. Because they can't fucking decide on a verb. It swaps also between charge and re re refill and reload. Which is fucking stupid. I hate it. Well, this aggravates our... Our lungs as well. Can, can I not throw this over? No. Can I? I can't drop it either. So I'm stuck. <laughs> really? You fucking locked me into this. I can't pick it up. I can't put it down. Oh, now I can drop it. You fucking stupid game. Yeah, I'm, that's fucking stupid. Oh, I need a plank. You don't say. If only there was one on the other side of the wall. But wait. We can't get to it, can we? No, we can't. Here's a question. How do I get out of a... Do I have to fucking go all the way around? Really? So that's what this key is for. of shit at times. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always a fucking stressful situation. Our vision changed because our stress is really, really high. And we're being really, really loud as well, so. Our character doesn't like that. The goal, what I'm planning right now is dropping this there, popping the inhaler, going back, getting the refill, and then we can progress forward.
Okay, that was an asthma attack. We prevented it temporarily. By using our safety breathing skills. Oh, we're in grass, that's why. Fuck you mean ding? You're telling me we walked all the way over here, nothing. But all of a sudden, mm, game. We're starting to cheat again, game, and I don't like it. Should be an inhaler. Right there, okay. We hit X. Pick up our inhaler. It clears out our lungs. We're happy and healthy now. And from what I can tell, the blue prevents uh, lung damage or stress, I guess, from affecting you for a little bit. up and leave it like that oh, dust really and of course the light has no effect on this Two of those here if we need it. Fuck. Everything's a fucking stressful situation. Really? Climbing up. Oh, fucking. I hate that. Shh. I hate that. I don't like that. That's an annoying mechanic. Because now we're basically almost right back where we were before we climbed that up. charge. Thank you. There we go. They're not kidding when they say every little noise alerts the creature. We're dead. Yep. Alright, well at least it put us here. Top of the train. I already got you, it's counted, okay.
Leaves are also loud. From what I can tell, but gravel, which we're about to walk through, is also loud, so it doesn't really fucking matter. Like, there's no way around this. I have to walk through there if I want the collectible. Tracks are blocked. Gotta find a way through the forest. Oh, you mean the way the monster ran? Of course we do. Of course we do. Of fucking course we do. I don't see any soup cans laying out here magically. Alright, take some stress. Oh, also, if we run, our stress goes up fast. So it's not plausible to run. This is as fast as we can move. Doesn't help now. My fucking. way down or is it just a dead end? Why are you shitting me? It's coming up this way. Yeah, I know my fucking lungs are about to explode. So if the creature touches us, or well, basically if the, teacher, yeah, if the creature touches us, we're dead. Instantaneously, there's no way around it. Where are you? Inhaler, okay. Fucking can't see shit. Video, that's audio, video, brightness. Bye. That's a little bit better. It's so fucking dark. There's no reason for you to be over here. There's no reason for you to be over here.
you. It heard that. The game cheats like that. There's no reason for it to run to that corner where we just were, other than that we were there. Because we weren't really loud there, that's for damn sure. That was a wrecked car. But I don't think we're heading that way. I'm not going after the collectibles anymore. We come across them, we come across them. I'm not going through the restart process over and over and over again. Not with a game that cheats. Just looking at all these cans everywhere. And the fucking metal containers? Jesus Christ, there's so many of them everywhere. Uh, is this a safe room? shame. They're all dead. Oh no. So in safe rooms, the monsters can't hurt you. You're free to be here as long as you want, pretty much. Uh, it's also one of the places where you get a free heal against your asthma. Because you have time to sit down and breathe and relax. So that it won't be really used against you. Penalize you. Open the fucking thing. Taylor. Nothing, all right. All right. Hopefully this counts as a checkpoint. I'm not confident it does, but I'm hoping. Even fucking do anything yet. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Just grabbing it. Does that. Not even moving it, just grabbing it.
Yeah, you're gonna cheat. You might as well cheat the bully. Locked or blocked, it doesn't matter. Uh, locked. Telling time, wonderful. Uh, are you just not accessible? Okay. Danielle, wonderful. More scratch marks PNG. Yeah, looks to be you. And you. Uh, those are medication. We don't care about. Oh, missed you. Looks to be you as well. Uh, toy soldier. Or some cracker jack. Wonderful. That's the backyard. Just go up these non-realistic steps at all. Because nobody has those in their house. Uh, poetry, a live show test. Okay. Right. You're my voice at that. Yep. The parents are horrible. Gotcha. Uh, what's circled here? Oh, I guess that's been to, been to, been to. Want to go? Potentially? Or there's no access to them? That doesn't really matter to me. Body. Uh, rubble is loud. And nothing else. That's how we get out, okay? Yeah, we actually have to go through that door. Through this window, okay. Off. gonna fall. Nope, she has a gun. She has a gun. Don't believe her. Yep, go. Go. Get out. You figured out how to throw shit. Good. Can't use the ladder to cross. I was expecting this mechanic to come back a little bit better, a little bit more than right now. But we can only have one. Nope. Fuck away. Where is... Link? What? 
What are you hearing? You're getting triggered off something that I have no control over. So we have to do this every now and then. No! Give me a brick. Give me a fucking brick. What? You didn't hear shit. That's not possible. Fucking kidding me. Oh. It got triggered on nothing. That was fucking water. It didn't go above the, the environmental noise. Fuck that.
That, that fucking AI is... Is fucking buggy as shit. Are you shitting me? It's overwhelmed sometimes. You good to head back? Sure. go do the dishes. Oh. During your attack, he didn't know what to do with himself, so I gave him something to do. Got it. He really cares about you. He's never seen me like that. But you had asthma when you were little. Mm, it was different. And I had it under control by middle school. When did you come back? When I... My... See last night's game? A clown show. I mean, it'll be a miracle if they make the playoffs. Hey, Alex, single or double? Single. Thanks, Robert. I live to serve. And don't you forget it. Never mind, <laughs> Queen. How you doing, Dad? Good birthday so far? Dad? Hmm? Fine, sweetheart. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, are you all right? You look pale. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I just, um... Alex, you mind grabbing the beer? Not at all. What do you say, birthday boy? You want one? No, thanks. Suit yourself. There's a case in the back of the van. And it better be full when he gets here. Just because you're in college doesn't mean you're legal. Uh-huh. How was her first year, Ken? Hmm? College. 2009, oh, uh, 2009, good, good grades, 2008. Sweet. Right. But her music's as beautiful as ever. It's sad, but beautiful. I guess she built the synthesizer out of scrap. Wow. 
She's always been inventive. What was it that everyone called her when she was little? A tuneful technician. <laughs> That's it. Julia gave her that nickname. <clears throat> and Martin, he just finished, what, his third year? Yeah, yeah, he'll be flying in no time. So there's Hush. a thousand options. I'm thinking about him driving a car, let alone for that. Uh, 986 maybe? Bison's played on this one. Thanks. Just put it by the other case next to the speaker. <laughs> well. see a speaker that well there's oh there hey Alex can I uh, uh, talk to you for a sec uh-huh when I get to it what's this over here be a hint about uh, the numbers. That's a lot of meat for four people. Alex? I'm coming. Give me a fucking second. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hi. I just wanted to say, um, I know. Like, really sorry. I, I didn't know that you'd. It's okay, really. I just. I, th I thought you'd laugh. You know, on the plus side, you get to brag to all your friends at school. I do? Yeah. You can tell them that you finally took a girl's breath away. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, but I kind of missed you this year. Yeah? Yeah. Martin? I can't find the bottle opener. Can you... On it. <sighs> Want to help me look? Sure. That's not like we have a choice. Digit code. It's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, first, first, second, first, first, third, first, third. All right, that's hey, the first. Uh, I don't suppose they could use a hammer instead? Not unless they want bits of glass in their beer. Wildlife management. Right. Ooh, crunchy beer. Delicious. I think it's got to be down here. My Jesus Christ. How stupid are you? Okay, well done. Fucking moron. 
The recipe's there for a reason. Oh, this is what you kept. Holy shit. I can't believe you have this. This is what his mom it's kept in her room in the hospital. Do you have any idea how rare this is? You think I'd like it? If you like my music, you'll love theirs. They're like my biggest inspiration. Can I hear it? Uh, will Laura mind if we play it? I meant your music. What? what Come on. It's been a long time since I've heard you sing. You mean now or? <laughs> Why not? I mean, I just wasn't planning on it and I haven't warmed up or. <sighs> I was so much for the bottle opener. Will you slow down? Do you want to give me another asthma attack? Hey, I'm always down to take your breath away. The um the the hook ladder thing. You see it anywhere? I think it might be in my bedroom. Wait here. I'll get it. Oh no 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 no! This time I'll run off. And who knows? I might even plan some incredibly stupid prank. Oh God! I thought you were over that. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Nope. She's never gonna get over it. He's gonna remind. She's gonna remind him of it till the day he dies. Which. Probably won't be that long. When I hunt, I am protecting what I love. Okay. Offer of twenty fifty thousand dollars as a compensation for the injury you caused him. September second, we can afford us. We believe that this sum does not account for the severe emotional trauma. We are paying attention on you compensating in a sum. Next thirty days, uh huh. So nine. Two two maybe for that. It's a possibility. How many times have you seen Revenge of the Bloodsuckers two now? Fifty? Sixty? Mm, more like uh, one hundred and twenty. <laughs> Just uh, hook it up right there. Après vous. Man, there's so much crap up here. Well, you know what they say. One man's crap is another man's vinyl collection. Right. Ship. Whoa. How long have you had these? You like them? They're in 
incredible. Which one's your favorite? Jesus. Huh? Oh, right. Just uh, pretend they don't exist. That's what I do. They're all your mom's? Yep. I know she likes to hunt, but this is... What? A lot. It's a I hobby. Mean, Jesus she doesn't Christ. like hunting. She doesn't? She does it for work. I thought she worked in, like, uh, wildlife management. Yeah, which sometimes means population control. Population control. If, you know, a species gets out of hand, she says it's the only way to, like, um, maintain balance. Yeah. You hear that? What? There's nothing anyone could have done. I'm a doctor. What's the point if I can't save my own wife? The hell is that? Yeah, guess we won't know what's inside that briefcase. Fucking woods. Are you fucking kidding me? Back in the fucking woods. Great. Great, great, great. Alright, well, I think we're gonna leave it off here for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Till then, bye bye. Step in one. Nope.